It's been just over a year since CASA updated the commercial requirements for drone use in Australia. And as of October 18th, 2017, the new rules for recreational flight come into effect. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, the updated 101-3 advisory circular has not been released. The biggest changes are as follows. First up, they have now restricted the maximum altitude for a recreational flight to 120 meters or 400 feet. Previously in golf class airspace, you could fly over 120 meters as a recreational pilot. Commercially, you still needed permission, but recreationally, you could actually fly higher than 400 feet in class G airspace. Currently, there does not appear to be a 45 meter height restriction near helipads. However, that may change. CASA has also clarified the ban on all flights within 5.5 kilometer radius of controlled aerodromes. Controlled aerodromes such as Brisbane Airport and Archerfield Airport during the hours of 7 a.m. till 5 p.m. local time. Airfields such as the Redcliffe and Caloundra airports are non-controlled aerodromes. But as always, you must steer clear of all manned aircraft. Good news, however, is that the, this ban does not apply to the micro-class drones such as the Industrix. The Spark and Mavic, while still in the very small class drone, are still considered to be too big. They have also finally clarified the 30 meter rule, which is measured laterally 30 meters from the ground point directly below the drone. Previously, many treated the 30 meter radius as a dome shape. Currently, this new clarification only applies to people. Um, we'll see when the 101-3 advisory circular comes out, if this impacts structures and vehicles. This currently replaces the populist rule, which was cause for some misunderstandings. <laughs> CASA now also links to a parks and rec rule which forbids drones from flying within 300 meters of whales and dolphins. Since this is not under CASA's jurisdiction, it is based on a parks and rec rule 20 years old which still classifies drones as full aircraft. At the time of this video, drones are still the safest way to study marine life. 